I'm leaving the Utah State Capitol after a press conference to call on the Doe Tartan chief to uh, use the executive order not to kick the buck until Wednesday. Damn, I got something in my eye. Um, kick the buck until Wednesday, but to actually go ahead and uh, stop uh, the separation of migrant families uh, today. He could do it. He just signed a goddamn executive order. But I'm sure that he actually enjoys uh, the horror and the terrorism that he inflicts on these kids. Um, at the press conference, everyone kept saying uh, child abuse. Well, and yeah, while that's not necessarily wrong, it's freaking terrorism. And terrorism is a much stronger word, and I wish they would have used it. Um, I think that there were some pretty good speeches uh, made by, I can't remember all the speakers, Patrice Arendt was meh. Daisy Thomas was actually was quite on spot. Shereen Gorbani was fantastic. Um, and not a single one saying abolish ICE. Not a single one saying um, stop terrorism. They're just saying these aren't our values. Well, you know, I hate to say it, but I think they are our values. They say these aren't American values. Well, I see Nazis march marching on the streets. I see over half the electorate. Um, well, over half of the uh, electorate that exercises their power to vote um, seems to be down with uh, this disgusting uh, terrorist-like activity. Um, I see that we've got um, Democrats that don't show any obvious reason why they're different. They don't, they don't show or give any obvious example of what they would give that would make them different than a Republican. These aren't our values. This is not what Americans stand for. Well, apparently it is. So how about we get some new talking points? And we need to figure out, like, stop terrorism. So I, I got talked to by a couple of people, um, which I can't hate them for talking to me. They got mad that I yelled out during a press conference. But you know what? We need to be fucking energized. We need to direct that anger. People are freaking mad. They don't want to hear, this is not our values. This is not what we stand for. They want to hear, we're going to abolish ICE, and let's go ahead and craft legislation. Let's go camp out in front of the Governor Herbert's, uh, um, Governor Herbert's uh, office and make sure that uh, he goes ahead and uh, dis deconstructs, maybe even tears down. Hopefully he turns it into something else, but the, uh, the immigration detentions that we have for ICE here in Utah. We've got uh, one in West Valley, near where I live, West Valley, Taylorsville area, another one in Logan. And uh, this is disgusting. The way that we treat human beings, worse than dogs. And we saw the same thing in Standing Rock. Oh, President Trump, will Obama let it happen in Standing Rock? Yeah, it sucks that they are, uh, that the kids are freaking frightened out of their minds. Imagine being in freezing temperatures, being, getting water sprayed on you in freezing temperatures because you don't want your water poisoned. Obama said, you know, I'll, I'll wait a few weeks. Even after he uh, said that uh, he would actually support the Native Americans. Even after he said that he would stand with them. Then what happened when they were being brutalized by militarized police? I'll wait a few weeks, see, see what happens. So uh, we've got disgusting behavior on both sides. Democrats are not the answer to Republicans. Democrats are not the end all be all. There's a few, sure. Tulsi Gabbard, Ro Khanna, um, Barbara Boxer. I want to say Barbara Boxer. I have to look her up again, though. For some reason, uh, I intuited her name as well. Uh, obviously, Bernie Sanders, um, to a lesser degree, Elizabeth Warren. I only say that because of uh, she just can't distance herself from the establishment. She's just so tied to the establishment that she just can't denounce it. She can denounce banking, which is great, but she's having a hard time denouncing the establishment. And so, yeah, there's a handful of Democrats that are fantastic. That's a handful. That's not majority. The leadership are fucking feckless. Chuck Schumer and Nancy Pelosi, they get paid by the banks. Well, guess what? Guess what the banks get rich off of? War. What do you think that Democrats love war? What do you think every time CNN or MSNBC has somebody on their show where they're calling for war, they never tell you, oh, by the way, these people are paid by the uh, military industrial complex. So if we, if we go to war, then they get their payday. Why don't they say that? Well, maybe go to opensecrets.org and see what it says. And uh, we need to energize and direct this anger. People are pissed. They don't want to hear, well, these aren't our values. They want to hear, this is what the fuck we're going to do. We're going to abolish ICE. Let's do it. That was my excited voice. Anyway, we need to abolish ICE because ICE is disgusting. ICE is a terrorist organization and it does not belong on American soil. As a um, war veteran, I was a combat medic in the army. 
I didn't fight in the active war in, uh, in the Balkans, in Kosovo, but I, but I served in the humanitarian aspects of another situation where white men, white army, is murdering and annihilating to the point of genocide um, the uh, Muslims. And it's, uh, it's sick and it's sad and it, it's insane. And now we have the same people, the Republicans, sorry if I kind of stopped for a second there. I uh, had, was trying to catch my um, attention because I'm driving. Anyway, we have uh, Democrats that really can't even stand up and say that this is what makes me different. Why, why, do we have, uh, why, why do we have Trump in office? Why? Because we've got a situation where Trump was willing to say, guess what? I'm not going to cut your Social Security. Guess what? I'm not going to come after uh, your health care. We want the best in the world. Well, then he uh, reneged on pretty much everything and said, oh, yeah, by the way, go fuck yourself. This is the, uh, uh, the Astrodome. Thunderdome. Thunderdome is probably a little bit more, uh, probably a little bit less fun than the Astrodome.